Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us on Eyewitness News at Noon. I'm Roger Suzanne. Now at noon, the search is on for the criminals who broke into more than 40 cars at a parking lot of a Rocky Hill apartment complex. Our Pinpoint News tracker shows us exactly where these crimes were committed at the Stephanie Place Apartments, which is on the Silas Dean Highway. It's all not that far away from a bunch of restaurants and stores. Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Aya Galel joins us now live with more on what we're learning this afternoon. Good afternoon, Aya, so break it all down for us. Good afternoon, Roger. Well, this all happened in a matter of minutes and the suspects managed to drive off. We were in that parking lot a short time ago. It really was quite a scene, just shattered glass everywhere. Uh, many cars broken into. Let's show you some video of what that scene looked like. The parking lot with more than 40 cars broken into. It all happened around 6 a.m. Sunday morning when Rocky Hill police were called to the Stepney Place apartments. For geographic context, these apartments are right by the Aldi and on the Silas Dean Highway. Police say when they arrived on scene, several suspects were breaking the windows of cars in the parking lot. When the patrol officer arrived, the suspects recklessly drove off and police were not authorized to pursue the vehicle. We did get an update from Rocky Hill Police a short time ago. Here's what they are saying about how fast everything happened. A total of 43 vehicles and, you know, it, it probably took a matter of minutes, about, you know, a few subjects. Uh, within the complex, breaking the windows. It didn't take long, it takes seconds. So now police are searching for a white sedan that may be responsible for these break-ins. Uh, they are canvassing cameras from businesses in the area. A reminder from police to never leave valuable items in your car. We're gonna have much more on the story coming up later tonight on Eyewitness News. For now, we're putting live in Rocky Hill, Aguilar Channel 3, Eyewitness News.